All right, so did you realize that crypto is the truth and you're about to start making money trading the uh, QFL strategy, the buy the dip strategy? This is going to be the video that's going to help you, you know, get set up. You should have watched the video that I made before this. Um, I'll do this and there should be a little link that pops out. <laughs> so, okay, um, in that last video, I told you about Altrady and it's, you know, it's the app that's just best suited for this. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Um, there's plenty of other ways, but I'm just going to pretty much specifically go over like how you want to set this up. So you're going to make an account, mess with it for 14 days. Um, I'm going to have to just blur out some of these uh, pieces of information, which is going to be annoying, but I'm making this video for you and you're welcome. So let's just go on the back end really fast and all that hopefully will be blurred out. Um, go to the exchange account API keys. Now they've got some welcome setup thing. I just click the X, just don't worry about that. Like, just click the X. I don't have time to do the little welcome thing. Um, you're going to add the API key. You're going to select the exchange. I prefer KuCoin right now. Anyways, I'm just assuming you're doing KuCoin and then give it a name. And then KuCoin, actually, let me go ahead and select KuCoin really fast. Um, so you're going to say, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then you're going to enter the API key and then you're going to enter the secret. And then it's, it, you make up a passphrase. So this is basically like <laughs> your safe word. Um, and, you know, one, two, three. I, I don't know what your passphrase was, but you would have made that in KuCoin's uh, API settings. I'm not going to go over KuCoin API settings. Like you should, you know, go to their help desk or help support and be like, how do you make an API? It's like not hard if you already have a KuCoin account. Again, you should watch the other video. Um, so, okay, so now that you made that video and then there might be something that talks about vaults. I just can't get into like all the technical difficulties, but they've got like help support right here. This little thing, you can talk to them. They'll get you set up with Altrady. Don't worry. There's people there to help you. So moving on now that this is all set up. Um, now the next thing that we're going to do is let's go to global notification settings and probably going to want to uncheck email and email. I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Here's the most valuable thing right here. So you're probably going to be switching back and forth between um, all of these settings and I'll explain why later. But here's what's important. You're gonna click this plus button. And for this, again, we're gonna be doing KuCoin, Pia. And then we're gonna type in, for me, I prefer US dollar tether. Um, I'm not gonna explain it, just it is what it is. Like you should know more if you don't know what USDT is. Um, just Google it, okay? Like, And so you just saw that I switched this up. Whoa, wait, what, you just switched it up? What's going on here? Okay, check this out. This is actually really valuable. I've already made a video. I'm not even gonna post a link on it. You should just be like watching all my videos and all the Quick Fingers Luke's videos. But uh, I think I talked about another video how the 3% is just, if something goes 3% on sale, then you'll get a notification. And then if it's the median, this is just, it's so valuable. This is like how far it usually drops. So you'll, you'll basically get an alert if it drops down as far as it usually goes. But if you do 1.5, that means it's like outside of the boundary of how far it usually drops, then you'll get an alert. And that's kind of the zone that you want to get an alert for. Um, and they have a mobile app, but it would just be, it's just, it's asking a lot for my phone to just be dinging a lot, you know, and, and there's like volume, you could set volume up, but like, I'm not even going to go into that. Um, this is just like, like, let's just move on. Okay. Like there's way more valuable things you want me to explain besides this stuff. So like, I just put it at 1.5, you can have it at one, you can have, you know, fixed, at, you know, negative 10, you see what I'm saying? But for me, I I'd just be feeling that 1.5, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, just slow the video down, pause it, you know, watch what I'm doing. Cause like the way that I'm going to set this up is dope. Okay. So first things first. See where it says layout preset default. You're going to say new layout for me. I'm on my laptop. I'm going to do laptop. We're going to go by real fast. So we better pay attention. What? KuCoin. Oh, that's the one that I'm using. Oh, look, he's already come up with a bunch of these little things. Oh, you can add, click a little color, a little thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, TT, boom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, snap. Okay, watch this. I don't know what he's doing. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just, just do what I just did. Click a little plus button. Add some, add some of these. I'm just, look, blue, blue. Um, BI stands for Binance. I'll explain that in a second. KR stands for Kraken. I'll explain that in a second. YY stands for yellow, GG green, RR red, TT teal. You see my logic in this? Like, I, I'm just making this up. You don't have to follow me exactly, but like, let's just get through this, okay? So like, you go right click this and we're gonna undo price. What, wait, what, huh? Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, shh, shh. Save. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? What's going on? Wait. Wait, I'm confused. Quick scan. What about quick scan? Join with other widgets. Why? Click here to join with this. 
Ah, oh, you're moving too fast. I think I need to pause the video. Whoa, oh my gosh. Scooting that up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can scoot that up? Oh, snap. Wait, mine's locked. I can't do that. Oh, yours is locked. Well, well, what if it's right there? You gotta unlock it right there. Oh, snap. Okay. Okay. Oh, snap. He's got a save button. Uh, what? Alerts. Wait, he's dragging alerts to the right. I wonder why. Oh, my gosh. So much awesomeness. Wait, he's just pimping this thing out. What's going on here? Whoa, a little plus button right there. Oh, snap. Okay, volume. Huh? What? Move to. New pane below. Whoa. What? Huh? Wait a second. Wait. Settings? Show moving average. Yeah. What? Six. Hey, you're going too fast. No, I'm not. Oh. Okay, whoa. There's like that blue thing. Oh, maybe, maybe he's just going to tell me to pause the video and see what he did there. Oh, he just shrunk that down all the way to the bottom. But then I can't see that. Oh, because it doesn't matter? Oh, snap. Okay. Well, wait. What's going on here? Save. Okay, now it'll prompt you to save it. Just put AA because it's just nice and simple. Um, oh, yeah, and then there's these. Like, you can... Now, I will explain a little bit about this. Like, I like 1 minute, 5 minute, 10 minute, 1 hour, 4 hour, 12 hour. And then you can just... And daily. But, I mean, like, 12 hours dope because, like, I can just see the whole thing right here. I can see the whole story. Like, daily, it, it just gets, like... It's, it's too zipped up. Like, it's, like, zooming out and you're just looking at the planet. Like, I, I want to see, like, the country and, you know, like, then here's, like, some states and, like, here's, like, the city. You know what I mean? It really is, like, Google Maps where you're zooming in on, like, the history of price action going up and down. Okay, okay. So now we've got quick scan and we've got... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's set up that quick scan. Whoa, what? Quick scan? What's that? Okay, so this one, I'm just going to make this the 15-minute one. I'll type in 15 right there. And yeah, we want a desktop notification. Um, I think it's, oh, I can't hear these. Um, okay, well, one of them goes do do do, the other one goes do do do, and then the other one goes bong -na 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 -na. And I don't know which one of these is which because I can't hear it because my microphone's in. Um, but that's it, I'm gonna save that. Boom, 15, if you want, you can make one that's the 10 minute and you'll make that a 10 minute. And, oh, do I need to add a rule? Oh, you do have to add a rule. Okay, well, let's select KuCoin. Oh, but you better be getting excited. What? USD, boom, zero, rise, 10, drop, 10, 17. Okay, do that same with the 15. Add a rule. KuCoin, do do, boom, 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 17, what up? Okay, now you got that set up, and then now we go to the bases, what bases, what, huh, what? Okay, okay, and then look, we got filters on, show hidden bases, eh, turn them off. 24 hour volume, I don't care about that, I don't care about that, I don't care about that, wait, but I do, oh, this guy's making the video wrong. Man, make your own video, dude. Set up the way I want to set it up, okay? Like, I don't see you in your video. Okay, and save that. Boom, boom, look at that. Oh, snap, now you got this going on. Okay, now let's take a moment here and just deep breath. We just set up like some craziness. Craziness. So, um, I'm gonna explain a little bit about what's going on with this stuff. So, you're going to be seeing a lot of these like 3S and 3L, like whatever the name is, 3S, whatever the name is, 3L. I want you to stay away from those. Okay. The other thing is, is um, there's like a ton of crap coins and like pretty much like most of these are crap coins. Um, and I'll go over that here in a second about like staying away from crap coins because you're probably going to do like me and you're going to trade the uh, 3S and the crap coin, 3L. It is what it is. Like they're just crazy. Like you, they're just super risky. Like if you're looking to lose your money, it's definitely like the place to do it, but it's super fun if, you know, and you're like, oh yeah, I want to trade the super fun one just because I said that. But like, let me tell you something. You will lose your money and then that won't be fun. So, and like, I actually, believe it or not, even though I've been trading these, most of these, I don't think I've really made, I think I've pretty much like broken even or just made like a little bit of money because of the fact that like, as I'm trading stuff, it's kind of like, well, I'll trade that. And then like the market will really drop and then I'll make all my money with, you know, the normal regular coins 
And so if I were just a little bit more patient and like staying away from these, I'd probably make more money, but it just like satisfies, like there's that sense of like, I need to do something about it. I need to like trade when I'm not supposed to be trading and the crap coins and the uh, short and long coins will kind of, you know, it's, it's just like, it's a drug. Like you just kind of, it's like smoking. You just have to smoke, you know, you just hand-eye coordination, whatever you want to, your excuse of trading it. But um, usually the market will end up dropping. Um, so a lot of times often they will predict future drops um, you know, if you see these start showing up, then you'd be like, Hmm, maybe the market is due for a drop. And then usually that is when it, so these are like, you know, good signs to use to start trading, but let's keep going because I want to explain uh, one more thing. So I'm probably gonna have to blur this part out, but that's okay. Let's go here to, okay. So hopefully this is all blurred out and, uh, check this out. So you've got day trading, conservative trader, position trader, and then hotlu and this original one, but like just for sake of like explaining what the heck is going on. So like it's fine to keep it on day trading if you you know it is what it is Th they let me just break this down really fast day trading the bases will show up and they'll disappear really fast most of them are not bases in the real strategy of things so like the success rate is less but why would you do that if the success rate is less so there is benefit to this and that is is that you can you can see what's going on in the market with this a little bit better than a lot of these other ones. Like these won't go off as much and you may be able to like get in on market activity before um, before these trigger. So that'd be the best way of explaining it is just like, there's more opportunities with this. And also, you know, you could be waiting for a long time or if you have like a small amount of money. So there is a huge value in this algorithm, the day trading algorithm, but, um, what you'll what you, what I will be doing, okay? Like, let's talk about what I'm doing. Okay, this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use day trading, but then when there's not opportunities, then I'm gonna switch it to position trader and just kind of see what's going on in the market. Like, this is where this is where the real story is told. Is the position trader one and the Honolulu one, but for some reason it's just like not working all that well. Um, and so for that, you're gonna have to go into this base info and you're gonna have to switch it to position trader. Now look, it, it looks the same. Like when I switch, let us let me switch through between all of these um, and then do original. So you can kind of see original was like the original algorithm. Uh, you know, I, I call these wholesale lines, the original, the creator of the strategy, quick fingers loop, called them bases, but I, I call them wholesale lines. Like you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Like there's wholesale, everything below this line is wholesale. So you can be like, well, there's a ton of wholesale lines. Like, yeah, I know that's why, um, you know, the original, they switched over to these three different variations. So now you've got day trading, a lot cleaner, um, but you can see like it's crossing multiple lines and then it comes down here. So really this is the main line that I would be paying attention to. I mean, like really you gotta watch the Quick Fingers Luke videos because he invented this strategy. I mean, like he didn't like invent it, but like his way of trading it is, it's, it's a thing. So you'll probably want to watch his videos. Like definitely watch his videos, like YouTube, quick fingers, Luke or QFL trading. Trust me. Like don't be a dumb, dumb. Okay. Like moving on. Here's Hodlu. That's Hodlu. Which I'm not going to explain Hodlu, but like it's a separate service and it's where I'm hanging out and really it should be the one that, you know, you'll want to be using. Um, man, they've just got so many lines. I don't know. They, like it's a, it's, it's it's a lot to like explain like the way that all trade is using hodlu isn't the same as how hodlu is using hodlu so all trade does things a little bit differently and that's okay like basically i will explain this because this is a little bit confusing but like hodlu is like a very very nice algorithm so basically the way that this works is as it ratchets further up like it puts a wholesale line right there that puts a wholesale line right there and then puts a wholesale line right there and then it puts a wholesale line right there so like these should be gone, like, but whereas all trady will kind of hold on to them and they really shouldn't be there, but that's okay. It's, it's whatever. And also, um, once this goes down to five and then goes back up to zero, it should cancel out. So it is what it is. It's an algorithm. It's not meant to like, really what you should be doing is, is you should be drawing this yourself. And also you should just be looking at this chart and understanding what's going on. There's the panic drop right there. Like, this has been like a grind and like, again, this is explained in quick fingers, Luke videos. Um, but like, boom, there's the drop. And that's where you're going to, you know, be buying small, medium, large, extra, large, small, medium, large, extra, large, extra, extra, large. And realistically it, it should be like, like 
really you should be buying like really small, really small, really small, medium, large, you know, extra large. Like that's how you should be playing it. You're like, oh my God, this is so confusing. No, just hang with me. Don't die on me yet. Um, but uh, yeah, so these are going to change when you switch out this uh, stuff on the back end. And I do switch out a lot. I really do. Because you can see, like, there are benefits to using the Ultra D algorithm. Like, look at how clean that is. They have a mobile app, but you're going to want to view it, like, on a web browser. And I'm just going to do it as a bonus. This is, like, like you better get me back for this, okay? So now we're mobile. And here's what we're going to do. So... Get rid of news. Alerts, order book, my alerts, market depth, trades. We'll keep that, we'll keep that, keep that. My orders, my positions, notes, token summary. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and save all that. And then basically what we wanna do is, is we wanna pull this like all the way out like that. Okay, and then, um, oh, we're gonna wanna put bases uh, join this with that and then you're going to want quick scan join this with this as well okay so then we're going to hit save trust me you're going to want to hit save like every time you do this okay let's keep going um so i'm putting trading my positions my orders and then i'm also going to do uh join this with this widget and base info join this with this widget and then I'm going to drag this out as far as it'll go and also drag this out as far as it'll go. And uh, it's going to look crazy at first, um, but really like the main goal of what you want to do is you want to have like three of these so you can see three. I mean, you can set this up however, but basically what's going to happen is, is like when you're on your mobile phone, like you're going to make this dope little mobile app. Um, for yourself and I'm really going to go over it in this video because like ooh, 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 ooh. usually to about like the ruler right there um, is right about there I'm going to scroll this over hit the floppy um, and then this just needs to be a little bit oh my gosh uh, this can get really tricky sometimes okay there we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. So let me pause this video really fast. Okay, sick. So I don't know if you can see this, but basically I've created like a mobile app for my um, for my iPhone. The link I believe is app.altrady.com forward slash dashboard. Um, I'm gonna hit the X on that. And also I'm gonna swipe this all the way to the right. I'm gonna go to laptop and I'm gonna click mobile. Boom, look at that. I'm gonna take it one step further, and that is, see how I'm kind of like in Safari? Well, watch what happens when I click the share icon. Okay, so I'm gonna click add to home screen, and I'm just gonna delete this and just say all tradey, okay? And then I'm gonna click add, and now I've got an app icon, so when I click on that, check this out. Continue with mobile. Close that. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Okay. Um, and then I come down here and I select KuCoin. So let me just get a little bit comfortable. And then I click this little triangle icon right there. See how it minimizes the toolbar? Sometimes uh, you'll hit the ruler. And um, it's so sick. Like this right here is the dopest, like, there are downsides, you know, the fact that this is not like officially supported. They want you to use the desktop app, but let me just show you some things that I do. So when you go into settings, my settings are yes, no, no, yes, 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 no, yes, yes, no, no, no. And then right here, I've got yes, no, no, yes, yes. Um, and then the rest of these are yes, except for remember visible range on chart. And then if you want to edit the orders, um, then what you can do is click on settings and then the second one you make yes 
and it'll show you the little red box right there. Um, it's, you know, it's glitchy, but I'm used to this and I'm trading like it, almost exclusively on my phone. I, I am using bots with the ProSum Solutions indicator and auto view, but in conjunction between all of this and my phone, I'm able to get in and out of a lot of trades on my phone that I wouldn't be able to necessarily do, um, you know, needing to go to a desktop app. I'm not always near my laptop. This enables me to just be able to like edit my trades, manage things, get in and out. I mean, I'm, I'm really running the game with this. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a full on desktop app within my phone. So hopefully there's value to that.